Okay, so I feel like a big dummy. I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes telling you what happened on our coffee date, and I wasn't recording. I was talking to myself. Oh boy. That's what happens when you don't sleep and you're partially blind. Okay, so let's do this over again. I have to show you again what he did to me. So I'm going to push the camera down. Don't look at my shirt and my ugly pillow that I keep in my lap when I'm typing. Put my foot up here. Don't I have pretty feet? Yes. I actually do, Vanna. These are some really hot feet. Okay. So, this is what happened. My best friend drew a star on my foot. And me and Lucian were sitting on the couch. And that's my freckly leg. I know freckles are hot, aren't they? Not really, but I was like, wouldn't that be cool if I got a tattoo on my foot? And he goes, yeah, you should get a shooting star. So he like drew the little shooting star things and he drew the little flower thing and he drew all these little designs on me. And then that's my favorite one, by the way, that flower right there. I really like that. And then he drew the like I don't know, it looks like the phases of the moon to me, but who the fuck knows? It's 7 o'clock in the morning when you haven't slept. Okay, I gotta switch places again because that's my little Papa Sun chair, and I don't know. It's just not very, well, I was gonna say it's not very comfortable down here, but it is actually really comfortable with my face planted into this keyboard. I'm really tired. And I forgot what I said last time. I did a really good part two video and that fucker got erased. So I guess I'm kind of screwed there. Basically, he drew on me and he didn't talk until everybody left. And then he started talking to my friend. And she asked him, like, what are you looking for? And he was like, oh, well, I am looking for a masochistic slave. And let me tell you... The voice that he uses in his videos is a little bit deeper than his regular voice. So I'm going to tell all his secrets. And I might get in trouble for that, but that's okay. So, because I beat him in arm wrestling. Don't let him believe you. I arm wrestled him down to the ground. And I held him down and I made him submit. That's a good bedtime story, isn't it? Okay. So they talked and I kind of kicked back on the couch because I was tired. I put my feet up on her and I had my head on him and like he had one arm kind of draped around me like this. And before that I asked him if he wanted to put his arm on the couch because he looked like he was kind of uncomfortable and his arm kind of ended up around me, right? That was kind of cute. That was kind of hot. But I didn't know that was going to happen. I just was making a comment, right? I had no idea what I was doing. Okay. I'm fucking devious, aren't I? Okay, so then, like, I had my hand up like this. And he had his hand like this. And he's, like, playing with my fingernails. Those are real fingernails, but they aren't my fingernails pretty. I think they're pretty. Somebody just came up in MSN and I don't know who they are. These are real. They're French manicure and they're hot. So he's like playing with them and like rubbing his fingers up and down on my fingers and like holding my hand. And Anyway, so in the last video that you never got to see because it never got recorded, I was telling you how really cool it was that a guy could like play with my hands and my feet and not really bother with the girly stuff, you know, like, most guys are, like, staring at your tits, or they're grabbing your ass, or whatever, and it was just really neat, because he's, like, studying my feet and my hands, and he's, like, memorizing every single detail, which is just cool. Uh, what else did I say in the last video? I did such a good job, and then a stinking thing didn't work.
I get kind of goofy when I'm tired too. Oh, I was telling you, my sister is a dominant, my best friend's a dominant, her husband's a dominant, he's a dominant, and if I can get all of them to come on here to YouTube and tell you the real stories about what happened, then I'm in trouble because I'm the only slave out of the whole bunch and that that's going to be really hard on me because I tell the truth and they're probably going to beat me for telling the truth, you realize. So I made sure you was comfortable and that's what you do in your slave. You make sure everybody's comfortable. You flick the ashes off of their pants. You hold their ashtray. You just are good like me. Ding! Halo! <laughs> okay, by the way, World of Warcraft sucks! It won't go on my computer! Because my computer's too old and I have a six month account to World of Warcraft and I have the game up there. And I can't freaking play it! So take your World of Warcraft and shove it up your ass! Okay, now that that little tidbit is out, let me tell you about myself. Um, I used to be really fat really fat. I was like 250 pounds and I lost 70 pounds. So I'm at 180 now. And I work out a lot and I work a lot and I'm on this medicine that makes me go like boing 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 boing. So and it's weight loss medicine and it is legal just to let you know. So everybody's used to my blabbering that knows me but you probably are like wondering what's up with this chick at seven o'clock in the morning that's getting back from this meet and greet a dominant and why the hell is she so hyper it's my medicine it's not my fault I promise could be the cookies I'm eating but we won't tell anybody about the cookies will we no because I have 30 more pounds to lose okay so I'm checking this out and making sure it's recording because I damn sure I'm not doing the second recording again Okay, so I'm a little bit tired, so I'm going to close my eyes and tell you the rest. So we're laying on the couch, and I just let him decide when we were going to leave. When he was tired, and when he was bored, and ready to go. And it was really cool, because I don't like being in charge. And I don't like making decisions. So it's really nice to have somebody go, we're leaving now, and stand up. And put his hand against your back and just kind of push you out to the door. Oh, by the way, he kissed me in the parking lot. <laughs> I'm going to tell you everything. That's all that happened. He kissed me in the parking lot and then he went back into his house. But we did get gas in my car and he washed the windows of my little Pontiac. Baby, I have a purple Pontiac. It's hot. I'm hot in it. And then we pumped gas, and then we went back to his car. I mean, my car, my baby. And then I drove him home. And he told me after work tomorrow to call him and that we would get together again tomorrow. See, he didn't even give me a choice. He just said, tomorrow, after work, call me, and we'll get together again. Because tomorrow's my last day off before forever. We have to work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then I'll probably be off Sunday and Monday again. Which is going to suck because I need more days off than this. I hate working nights. I'm always so freaking tired. <sighs> but I guess it'll work out, right? So leave me comments and tell me what do you want to know about Lucian? Because I can find all of it out. Um, what do you want to know about me? What do you want to know about BDSM? Oh, okay. I've been in the lifestyle for 10 years. Um, I've been owned many times. But I've never lived with somebody that I've been owned with. Yeah, I think you got it. I'm a little tired. Um, and I've never lived this close to somebody that could potentially be in charge of me? Does that make sense? Except for my best friend. But she's a bitch. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't want to be beat. I only got spanks. Oh, 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 I forgot to tell you. He was like, 
She's working up to a spanking tonight, isn't she?